See, you, no, no, they're supposed to overlap. You're right, punching me in at the wrong spot. Yeah. You're cutting off one of my words. I could, I could show you what, yeah. No, when the world comes crashing down, yeah, it'll, it'll be good. good. It's like, you gotta lock the lock. That's not a problem. We're gonna do it that way before you take out another track. Yeah. at Longview Farm Studios um, recording our third full-length album and I believe it will be called Until the End and we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Awesome girl, yeah, awesome. That's got some, bitch. some bitch. major bitch. attitude going on there. We've been here for about two weeks actually and um, we did a, a couple days of pre-production and uh, we're just about done um, the vocal tracking right now at the two-week mark. Um, so things are really moving along rather nicely, actually. Boy, sounds really good, Morgan. Well, thanks. Damn. I'm trying real hard. It sounds great. You know, I found it sounds so good. I'm just going to try a double track on you real quick. See what that sounds like. Bitchin'. We're going to do a double track. So. Yeah, uh, Mike. We'll do the um, other mic check later. Awesome. Because he thinks it sounds really good. Yeah, it does. Thanks. It's working really good. Here we go. We decided to uh, make our third full-length release uh, until the end at Longview Studios because it's the full package. It's like you sleep here, you eat here, you focus on your task, and it's um, you know there's really not a lot of outside distraction. <laughs> Walmart. We needed like <laughs> a trip to the gas station would be like orgasmic almost at this point. But um, it's been amazing. It shows in the music. It's definitely helped us to uh, to to stay focused on our task and. Um, definitely has brought out the best too. Because sometimes when you're making music, you gotta be crazy.
of came into this already knowing pretty much exactly what we were going to do. I mean, we took the time um, beforehand to like, you know, We actually... wrote all the songs like before we even got here, so. That's supposed to fade out, but uh, yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. Even if it was you guys wrong. guys rock, man. You guys are an absolute pleasure to work with. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. No. Yeah, we're not having too bad a time here. No, we're having a great we're time. You know, make good music. We're getting fed a lot, and we're all getting fat. Yes. This is Longview Studios, which is parentheses Longview Fat Farm. So, I mean, all you people that have problems like keeping weight on, got to come here. Yeah, there's at least a pie and a plate of cookies a day. Oh my God. Long you made me eat dog food. <laughs> no, we're never gonna be invited back. The good thing about Kitty is when we tracked, is they played everything. You know, it wasn't a question that you know we used a click track and you know it was on precise this and that. It was all by feel and. You know, when they did all the tracks and everything, you know, a lot of it was, you know, what they played, which to me is a testament to how good they are. Hold up. Let's get a tighter intro. Here we go. Okay? <laughs> all I can hear is guitar and I can't hear any kick drum. La la la. Okay, let's go do this. Yeah, bitch! Yeah. Yep. Come on, we're rolling. I don't really think my drum style has changed as much as it, ha as it has um, progressed. I mean, I'm still playing the same style because obviously whatever I play is going to be my style and it's not going to change my style. So uh, I just think, you know, there's a little more thought put in to uh, the drumming in this record. There's lots of double kick on this record, um, lots of really cool fills. It's a good, solid drum record. Get that bridge section tighter, you know, it's a little sloppy between the fills and everything. And the guitar re intro going into the first uh, two. I've worked with a lot of rock bands in the guy department that couldn't hold a candle to Mercedes. You know, her style and her timing. I mean, it's very rare when you can work with a drummer who doesn't want require a click track. I personally hate click tracks. You know, I don't know if anybody knows what a click track is. It it basically is, you know, if your song is 140 beats per minute. You get a click to time out 140, so you kind of stay in that groove the whole way. Mercedes hates click tracks, and that's why I knew we were going to get along great. And if you hear performances, you would swear that you know you got a timing mechanism going on there. And she was great, and her time signature and everything, her style is just awesome. <laughs> 